I'm Ian Radforth. Uh, I teach history in the Department of History at the University of Toronto. I've been at the University of Toronto for more than 30 years now. Uh, I, uh, I teach in a number of areas, um, uh, the history of immigration uh, to Canada. The, I teach a course on uh, political issues in Canada. Uh, I teach uh, on spectacles in the Canadian past. Uh, and uh, uh, well, I've done, done, I teach a social history course at the graduate level. Um, my research areas have moved quite a bit over time. I began as a labor historian and uh, uh, did research on northern Ontario and the, uh, the bush workers who worked in the forest industry of northern Ontario. Um, I was interested in the transformations in their world over the course of the 20th century. And then I went back and looked at the 19th century for uh, woods workers in Ontario, a very important occupational group in, uh, in uh, Canada in the 19th century, in Ontario in the 19th century, certainly. Um, I moved from there to working on state formation, uh, particularly in the mid-19th century in uh, central Canada. Uh, and then I uh, got interested in cultural history and uh, the particular angle I took was on uh, public spectacle. Uh, and I uh, wrote a big fat book called Royal Spectacle on uh, the first royal visit to Canada. That took place in 1860 and it was uh, a visit by the Prince of Wales, Queen Victoria's eldest son. He later became King Edward VII. Uh, and he traveled from Newfoundland through the maritime colonies, uh, through um, Quebec and Ontario, and then through the United States. And I followed him on his tour and talked about uh, the way in which uh, communities tried to uh, uh, greet him and represent themselves uh, to him. Uh, and how the press uh, uh, played up uh, all kinds of conflicts that developed along the way.